definitely a festive scene out here. Everybody's having a great time. Rise and shine, everybody. That's the smell of some fresh pancakes this morning. The suspects go underneath the car in the middle of the night. So it's really difficult for police to see or catch them. Just one day after the Boston bombings, a backpack that looks just like this one was suspected to have a bomb inside. It was found inside this Walmart. Just like that, your credit card information can be stolen. But a way to protect yourself from being a victim is to cover the keypad while you enter personal information. If you take a look behind me, below that underpass was where the accident happened. Get ready for a night of music as notes fill the air of the El Segundo High School quad. The El Segundo Education Foundation has paved the way for education. Who says outdoor movie events are a thing of the past? So let's go check out what they're drinking. Cheers! What is stupid? I can't believe it. That was Chu Liu's reaction when he found out his catalytic converter was sawed off his car. My Wednesday last night is still okay, but I wake up this morning, it's gone. Now Chu lost an auto part that helps control the amount of exhaust his car releases. He would fail a smog test. The way they would, uh, the suspect would do it would be take uh, the metal uh, saw and they would cut the exhaust pipe here and here and here and then they take the entire catalytic converter and it just drops down right into the hand. It takes only about 90 seconds for suspects to steal the auto part. The suspects go underneath the car in the middle of the night so it's really difficult for police to see or catch them. Because it contains platinum, each catalytic converter can be sold for about $80 at a junkyard. It could also take up to $1,000 to replace. It almost cost me about $400. It's not right, you know. It can give me a hard time. For the past three months, eight catalytic converters were stolen. Each little yellow circle indicates where we've had a catalytic converter stolen from a uh, pickup truck or an SUV. The best way to protect yourself from being a victim is to park your car in a safe place. And if you see anything suspicious, please notify the police. As for Chu, he has one thing to say to those who stole his catalytic converter. Please leave me alone. I can't afford it. I was so excited and happy for Palm Queen, and I'm glad I won. I feel tremendously proud, not only for my son, but for the fact that there's a place for him to come and enjoy himself and be around friends and family. Do you like your crown and scepter? I like crown better. <laughs> yeah. Why do you like your crown? They got to eat beautiful. This is the 15th year that the Exceptional Kids Parent-Teacher Organization has planned a special prom at the Hacienda Hotel. People of all ages are welcomed. In fact, more than 450 attendees joined the night's festivities. But fun for children and young adults with special needs doesn't always come easy. Regular proms go and they're not chaperoned by their parents coming as guests and sometimes as dates. An event that really in the regular educational setting they're not welcomed to. Tonight's special prom shows that a mother's love can trump their struggles. There's always a battle for you as a parent feeling you know your child can accomplish, you know your child can do something, yet you're being told by professionals all he can do is play with Legos or do puzzles. But Norma says she continues to fight and move forward for her little King Ray. My love, my emotions, it's all total comes full circle, full circle. Similarly, Sulan is surprised by how much her little queen Shinny has improved in her abilities. Right now my daughter can talk, in, can speak, I'm so happy. Why all her efforts? Because I love my daughter, you know. Shovel dig and dirt sift in El Segundo's annual Arbor Day. All right, that's, that's a big one. one. The green event uplifts the environment with newly planted trees and empowers the community's youth. 
All along Imperial Highway, around 400 volunteers of all ages will plant 100 trees and inspect 500 more. The environmental rejuvenation is part of the Tree Musketeers hometown program. Tree Musketeers is a youth-led environmental nonprofit organization. Our mission is to empower young people to be environmental leaders. Youth empowerment is an integral part of this tree planting celebration. It is unique in that only the youth are allowed to lead. Only 13 years old, youth manager Talia Gerard says the event has already helped her develop leadership and prepared her professionally. Being a leader in this organization is just so much fun because like my friends at school, they're like, wow, you could actually teach the adults. We're so used to getting taught by adults and you actually get to teach them and like boss them around. That seems like so much fun. I'm like, yeah, it is. This is the 25th anniversary of Arbor Day. Five years ago, Imperial Highway was barren. Now about 1,800 trees have been planted. In 50 years, one tree recycles more than $62,000 worth of air pollution. For El Segundo TV, I'm Amy Liu. Want to get to know your president on Wednesday, January 26th? You can! And now, here's footage from the Child Soldier Awareness event, Red Hand Day. Imam Ralph will speak at the Royce Auditorium about the need for better communication between Western and Muslim cultures and his take on the Park 51 controversy. The event, known as Currents, opened on January 7th and will continue into March.